try photos. Hey, what's up everybody? You know, in my last video I, I ranted a bit. Railed on people for breaking Facebook promotion guidelines. Running contests where you're giving something away and in order to enter the contest you gotta share something or, or uh, tag your friends or share on your friend's page or something like that. None of that's legal, it's all against Facebook um, guidelines. Go watch that video if you wanna hear me rant about that. <laughs> but, um, I never gave you an alternative. So running contests and promotions and things like that on, on Facebook is a great idea. Uh, but just do it legally. So um, an example of something you could do is a photo contest or just a photo entry, right? Um, that might work even better. So make your post about your promotion and um, in order to enter, have people post their photos in the comment of that post, of your promotion post. Um, what that does, it's going to get people to comment on, on the thing and um, it's not directly involving any personal timeline, which is what is not legal. Personal timeline or friend connections, that, that stuff's not legal um, as far as Facebook goes. Um, but the comments that'll happen on that post will make that post more visible. It'll also um, raise your 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 score in the algorithm so that other posts that you may make around that time frame um, are more visible. Don't require people to like your page because you might attract people who like your page simply for the promotion and then don't interact with you after the promotion is over, which degrades your page's ability to be seen in the newsfeed. So don't do that. Um, let them like the page if they're gonna like the page, but don't require it. What'll happen is you'll get people who like the page, um, but they're doing it on their own instead of you requiring them to do it. So, yeah, um, people love taking photos, they love doing that. Here's some other caveats around that. Instead of just doing something like a, we're giving away a $25 gift certificate to something or other, um, make it tie in directly to your business and instead of making it a one-time giveaway, get some extra benefit out of it um, and give your consumers some extra benefit out of it. So instead of giving them a $25 gift certificate, um, maybe provide them a benefit within your business. Uh, let's say an ongoing discount for a certain period of time or something like that so that it keeps them coming back to your business. It keeps them staying away from your competition and coming back to your business. That's a great thing. Um, so do that as the prize instead of just some one time we're giving away a $25 gift certificate to some other place. Um, don't do that. Or we're giving away a, an iPad or something like that. Tie it directly into your business and make it a benefit of doing business with you. Um, that'll keep the long-term benefit coming. And um, yeah. Just, just have people post post photos and when oh, oh in those photos make the photos having something to do with your business either something related to your business or interacting with your product or your place of business or your service or something like that and make it fun make it to where perhaps even silly the 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 more fun and silly it is the more people will enter and um, go with it that way. Uh, there's so many different avenues you could take when doing that. But one, you're not breaking Facebook promotion guidelines because you're not involving personal timelines. And look for ways of tying it into long-term benefit for your business instead of just some one-off, one-time giveaway or something like that where you're looking for some superficial, immediate interaction results. <laughs> was that enough words in there so anyway do that go do that and i'll see you on the next one i'm out